Uniswap, one of the most important applications in crypto, just voted in favor of a fee switch. Keep in mind that this decentralized exchange does more volume than Coinbase. Will it go burr? The Uniswap community voted in favor of a proposal that includes a fee switch. It aims to distribute a share of trading fees that liquidity providers earn and send that to the Uniswap treasury. For example, liquidity providers earn about 0.3% on each trading pair right now. However, if the fee switch is successfully launched, it would send about 0.25% to liquidity providers and the remainder, which is 0.05% to the Uniswap treasury. One potential problem that might arise is liquidity providers taking out their liquidity from Uniswap and moving it to another decentralized exchange. However, it seems unlikely because Uniswap has the majority of volume and it has a considerable amount of trading pairs compared to other decentralized exchanges. Community members are currently discussing how to design and launch the fee switch. As of right now, Uniswap's 7-day average in fees is about 1.79 million. Now, if the fee switch is launched, it would be about one-sixth of that amount, which would be about 300k per week. Once we have that 300k number, we would have to divide that by 7 days and you would get about $43,000 in fees per day. Finally, we would have to divide that 43,000 per day by the 456 million uni tokens that are outstanding and then we would get a value of about four cents per year per token now this is estimated with the current fees right now obviously fees fluctuate all the time depending on volatility and market conditions as crypto adoption grows, it would most likely increase fees, but who's to say there isn't another protocol that comes and take market share? There are a lot of questions that remain. But remember, the proposal that they're in favor of is sending funds from the trading fees that they earn to the Uniswap treasury, not to Uni token holders. Since this proposal was originally intended on sending funds that they received to the Uniswap treasury, Uniswap token holders would have to vote on another proposal that would transfer the funds that they get from the Uniswap treasury to Uni token holders. Unfortunately, one of the final requirements in the governance process is that there is 40 million Uni tokens in favor of the proposal in order for it to pass. This makes it extremely hard for proposals to pass unless they have large token holders that are in favor of that proposal, which isn't practical. One example of where the Uniswap governance fails is back when Uniswap did an airdrop. Many users that used Uniswap through a third party wallet were not eligible for the airdrop. Thanks to Dharma and other third-party wallets efforts, they launched a proposal that was a retroactive airdrop to help include the users that should have been eligible for the airdrop. However, this proposal failed while obtaining 37.5 million uni tokens in favor of rewarding those users that weren't eligible. This just shows how difficult it is to pass a proposal on Uniswap. One of the main problems that we've seen in the past is the mishandling of the Uniswap treasury funds. In 2021, they gave a grant to a DeFi education fund, which was created to support educational initiatives and policy lobbying for the decentralized finance sector. Here's the problem. When they received the 1 million Uni tokens as a grant, they indicated that they would sell it over four to five years but they ended up selling half the tokens just a few weeks later for 10.2 million at the time. Now this could have been a learning lesson for Uniswap governance, but if there aren't any fees going to Uni token holders directly, then there isn't any real value in this token other than a governance token. 
I'm sure uni token holders would rather earn a yield on their token as opposed to sending it to a treasury that they don't have any real control over. There are a lot of legal issues surrounding the fee switch if launched. Some of these include US users being prohibited from earning fees or owning the uni token. Like we've seen in the past with protocols restricting US users and others from other countries from obtaining an airdrop or using an application, we may see the same with the uni token. Varun on Twitter made a good point about how Uniswap should have launched with the fee switch on day one. The Uniswap protocol should have started earning uni from day one instead of doing a pre-mine, which is a huge regulatory issue. These are complicated discussions that require a lot of research before a fee switch is introduced. I personally am a fan of Uniswap and I hope that there could be a fee switch that goes directly to the Uniswap token holders. The question remains, is this all hopium? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, continue on to this video to learn about a new blockchain called Aptos.